back. Oh, how lovely is it to see all of you again? Oh my god, it's been so long. Again, so long. All right, no more promises for videos in the future because uh, with my track record, I just can't keep my word. Things get busy. It's hard. It's very hard. Welcome back to another Space Engineers video. And yes, today we have a very special, special episode. We are going to be building a small, large ship. Again, once again. But we have been challenged by a faithful viewer or subscriber. I don't know if you subscribed or not. I hope you are. If you're not, click it. Click that subscribe button and the bell icon. you got to know when my videos drop. You gotta watch that shit. You're, you're not gonna regret it. You're not gonna regret it. But we have been challenged, slash suggested, to build a small, large ship with hangars, able to carry vehicles and spears. We're gonna go all out on this design. Pretty simple, but we can make it look very nice. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are in our nice super basic world absolutely nothing going on here so what i'm gonna do right now is get an idea of the shape of the ship that we want so we're just gonna make a simple but purposeful shape So now we have this basic shape laid out, we're going to kind of get an idea of where we want things to sit. So like engines, um, where all the components are going to run, and uh, we'll just kind of mess around and make it kind of clean it up. So that's what I'm going to do right now.
So this is what we have so far. As you can see, we've got a pretty good, pretty good shape going. Pretty good. And yes, I went ahead, I did a little bit of the details. I hooked it all up um, just to save you that boredom. But you could kind of see how I designed it. You know, I have the center column in the middle. It's all filled with conveyors. And then I slowly started taking them out and filling them with actual components such as hydrogen tanks, the H2O2 generator. And you'll notice that I have more bottom thrust than I do anywhere else. And that's because ideally, if this is a cargo ship, um, it's got to be able to hover, you know, go down to planets. Uh, the takeoff's got to be very quick in some scenarios. So we have a lot of uh, uh, upward thrust just to get out of those intense situations. Or if the ship is carrying a huge or heavy load um, of materials, then it can, you know, fly away with no problem and it's got a lot of forward thrust which is good not a lot of left and right like we only have two hydrogen on each in each direction we've got four going down and then we have four going backwards so it's going to take a while for it to slow down we've got two gyroscopes right in here as you can see they kind of you can kind of see them through the windows and i like that i like that little uh design that i added with in this kind of like reactor room i guess you could call it so now that I've finished the basic design of it and where everything's gonna go, I'm going to add armaments. Now the armaments that I'm going to add are going to be uh, small ship turrets, basically. So I'm going to make uh, little points on the ship. I don't know where yet. I'm thinking maybe somewhere on the top where it's just uh, like a large rotor and then it goes to a small head and then I'll build a turret off of that and you'll be able to control it from the inside of the ship. Just a simple defense, nothing crazy, just to give this uh, cargo ship a little more uh, survivable capability. So let's just jump right into it.
finished project. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Well, why am I wearing to think different clothing? None of your goddamn business. So here it is, our final design of this tiny uh, hanger Corvette design that I built. So I tried to make a ship as small as possible with hangar space. Um, it is a large ship, but it's integrated with small ship blocks, as you can see with these turrets and its um, features such as having this little cargo truck that can also transport the cargo uh, which goes underneath in this little bay here and, uh, yeah look at that that's that's pretty awesome actually i think it's really cool so not a lot of room in this little area but this is kind of like you know um, like loose cargo maybe you could fit uh, a bike or like a little ATV in here or some sort of rover, maybe a drone, um, any loose equipment you could just drop in here and then put in the cargo container later. Um, and if not, you, this is just an access point so you can get to the cargo. And of course these panels here control the door and it also acts as some sort of airlock for this door. But that's not how we're going to enter the ship. We're going to enter the ship and do a full tour. So if we come to the front of this ship, there isn't really any um, apparent airlock. It's more of just these airlocks right here in the hangar bay. So there's none on the side leading to like the nice crew quarters. It's just through the hangar bay or through the cargo bay in the bottom. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at this little truck. You'll notice that we have these little landing gear here. Um, you may have seen that in the cinematic. I uh, didn't really have a use on the landing pad it landed on, but it does look cool if you are to land on flat ground. Um, 
and then we have these kind of like nice v8 piston looking engines on the side i try to make these thrusters look as big and bulky as possible as if it could carry tons and tons of cargo it only has i think one gyroscope so the maneuverability is pretty bad but uh it's all about haul not about the maneuverability and it has a nice light bar on the top we also have these fins on the back which get make it a little more aerodynamic if you so choose to view it that way and then i kind of just use some panel blocks to uh, make this back a little more detailed you can still access this cargo you just have to click it on the side or even i think in the middle yeah you can still access it but this just allows it to look a little more uh, covered a lot less exposed so coming in through the airlock we have these exposed hydrogen tanks right here very dangerous so you should be very careful in this room but uh, this is the best I could do with the limited space I had. So let's just walk in through here. As you can see, you are greeted with this nice uh, armory or uh, change room, if you will. So you can change out your helmets or equip your helmets and suit, grab a couple guns and welders if you need to use that. And on the ground, you'll notice that we'll have a lot of exposed components on the interior, as we do on the exterior, just because of the limited size. But I kind of like this look, you know, this is just an H2O2 generator, but it has this glass panel so you can kind of look down and see the actual component. Almost as if you could lift up this panel here and fix what's inside, because this is just an entrance way, a maintenance way, it's just kind of your main um, access hall. So there's a lot going on here, a lot of people passing by, um, a very cramped strip, but I think it looks and works well with this style now if you come over here to the left you notice we'll have this drop down area which actually leads to the lower deck big caution sign saying you know careful don't fall down and if we walk just to the side we'll get into the bathroom now i style most of my bathrooms like this i have the shower here and then there's kind of like a little lip and that's where you get your little bit of privacy except for the people who are occasionally climbing up and down the stairs so um in a perfect world i'd have some sort of door but I felt like the shower was very necessary for the bathroom. Now coming back to the back of the ship, you can see that we have this nice yellow door really lit up, really bright. If we open it up, we have our reactors, our gyroscopes on the top, and actually a survival kit. This isn't my favorite placement of the survival kit, but um, it's the only way I can make this all work and have it uh, covered and airtight. Uh, it was going to originally go here, but then this stair was in the way, and then it made a half stair step, and then it was still kind of in the way, and then this wasn't airtight to the outside, but this tunnel block is, and whole sorts, whole bunch of problems, but I felt like it worked perfectly fine here. And if this door is closed and you die and you spawn in the ship, you actually just spawn right here. So I think it's just a little bit of a glitch, but uh, it kind of works in my favor that way. So before we go to the lower deck, let's just check out the upper deck. Coming up, you'll notice that we have a nice lounge area, this kind of couch. Um, you could easily swap that out for a kitchen, maybe a planter, a seat, an extra seat, whatever you so choose. But for me, I just wanted a little living quarters, just kind of a, like a lobby area where you can sit down, relax, and just hang out with your crew members. If we look over here, we have this nice viewing port. It's very limited, but it kind of makes it a little robust. Uh, with this style of window and I kind of like that and it matches in through the bedroom so you have this tiny robust window like over there but instead on this side you have the bed here and a bed here now coming into the bridge now the bridge is fairly simple there is nothing really to it it's a lot more open I mean honestly I could just you know move these blocks back here to give room for the bedroom and the living room but I kind of like this idea that you can kind of walk around the captain's chair. You could have a security detail here just standing and making sure that everyone's safe. But the co-pilot would go here and then the actual captain would sit at the helm. And you've got a pretty good viewing port. It's very tucked away, very, um, a very bulky build I had in mind when designing this kind of bridge. But I think it worked out well. So let's head down to 
the lower deck and now in the lower deck we also have another the change room armory whatever you want to call it we have the generator that's right here so if you have to do any repairs on that it's all accessible through here if you need to get back up you can climb up if you're out of uh, hydrogen for whatever reason however that sign does get in the way um, so I may replace that sign and put it on the top of like the roof of the ship or like right up there because you can't climb up these ladders and, or that will get in the way now this control panel actually controls the airlock or the hangar doors on the outside so if they were open for whatever reason before you open this door you have to treat those doors as like it's an airlock so it's important to be able to control those large hangar doors from the inside that way you don't suck the whole interior ship's air out so you just close those up I'll start closing we have air wait for them to fully seal perfect and then we open this up and we have no loss of O2 until we open up these doors but it's a lot less that runs out than letting the whole ship just run out of oxygen now we have it very dimly lit in here you can barely see anything up but uh, this is literally just the space below the hangar, which is above. You can also control the doors from here by opening with this button. And if you come outside, we have lips on both sides of the hangar with a little standing control pad. And we can close the hangar doors the same way that we can outside. Pretty neat. But that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. We've hit 2,000 subscribers. I am so unbelievably happy. I'm looking forward to change this channel, go into different directions. Space engineers can get uh, very tedious at some points. But, you know, I do have a lot of fun with it. But I want to do some more lax gaming, you know? Just... Maybe do some more streaming. Maybe figure out how I can uh, impress you guys with some more laid back videos. I apologize for the late upload. It's been like almost a month and uh, I've just been very busy. I want to get back to the spin of things, but uh, it's just it's just hard right now. So uh, hopefully, hopefully things change for the future. But till then, stay thick, stay beautiful, stay chonky, my chalk soldiers, and I'll see you in the next. This has been your Lord Lane, Space Engineers, once again, now signing.